Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to knit this beautiful cowl. It's super easy to make. I have free written pattern. It's available on our blog at knitcrawedit.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. And please check in description below for all the details that you need to know how to make this cowl. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. For this project, I used two colors of wool of Andrew tweed. This is number four, medium weight yarn. 80% wool, 20% donigo tweed. If you are allergic to wool, I don't recommend using this yarn. You can substitute yarn by looking for number four, medium weight yarn, okay? So this is gonna be my color A. This is olive heather. For color A, you will need two balls of this yarn. I also have some left. And for color B, everything the same except the color. This is in color farmhouse heather. And you only need one ball for color B and I have some left as well. You will need US 10 6 millimeter knitting needle. This is a 22 inches circular needle. We're gonna knit in the round. And you need marker, your needle, scissors. We're gonna start with color A. And I'm gonna use long tail cast on and make sure I have long enough tail for my cast on. Then you can start with make slip knot and then insert the needle into the loop and that will be your first stitch, okay? Or you don't have to make a slip knot, which I'm going to do. So I grab my yarn like this. I insert my needle right here, come out here, come out here, come out here, okay? I have two stitches there. I'm gonna cast on 130 stitches. This pattern is a multiple of two stitches. Any and even number will work. So, three. Make sure don't cast on too tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I have 130 stitches cast on on my needle here. Next, we're gonna join in the round. But before that, make sure your stitches are lining up like this. Okay, you don't want it to twist like this. Okay, I like to join my work with a invisible join. I will show you how. And if you don't want to do that, totally up to you. So I'm gonna cast on one more extra stitch. So now I have 130 and I'm gonna cast on one more. So I have 131 stitches. The working yarn on the right needle. First, I'm gonna slip the first stitch on the left needle purwise like this. Slip. Then I'm gonna pick up the second stitch on the right needle up and over the outside stitch there. Here we go. See, I just drop off one stitch there. So now my stitches count is back to 130 stitches. Now I need to pull the tail a little bit here. Then I gonna transfer that stitch on my right needle back to the left needle. It's really nice and tight at the beginning. That's what I like about this invisible join method. Okay, round one. I'm gonna bring the beginning marker here into the right needle. Then round one, we're gonna knit every stitches around. So knit the first stitch, knit the next stitch, knit the next stitch, and knit the next stitch. All right, keep knitting every stitches around. Round two. 
round one is a little tight just take your time okay okay here's what it looks like at the end of round one round two we transfer the beginning marker to the right needle then we're gonna pearl every stitches around with color A. So yarn in front and pearl. Okay, this is the end of round two. For round three, we're gonna replace the, uh, sorry, transfer the marker to the right needle. Then for round three, we're gonna use color B. So I drop color A, don't cut it, just drop it, and bring the color B up. Then I'm gonna knit the first stitch. I insert my needle into the first stitch and then grab that color B and then pull up a loop then slip the next stitch purlwise with the yarn in the back like this knit the next stitch slip the next stitch purlwise with the working yarn on the back like that okay we're gonna repeat this around knit the next stitch slip the next stitch purlwise with the yarn on the back knit the next stitch slip the next stitch purlwise with the working yarn on the back repeat knit the next stitch slip the next stitch purlwise with the working yarn on the back like that okay show you a couple more times and knit the next stitch Slip the next stitch purlwise with the working yarn on the back. Knit the next stitch. Slip the next stitch purlwise with the working yarn on the back. Alright, keep repeating this around. This is the last stitch. We, snip, uh, we slip purlwise like that. Okay. Here's what it looks like at the end of round three. For round four, we transfer the marker to the right needle. Then round four, we're gonna use color B. So we're gonna purl the first stitch, bring the yarn to the front, then purl the first stitch. Then we're gonna slip the next stitch purlwise with the working yarn on the back then we're gonna purl the next stitch so bring the yarn to the front and purl then into the next stitch we're gonna um, slip that stitch purlwise with the working yarn on the back okay we're gonna repeat this around next stitch we're gonna purl so we yarn bring the yarn to the front and purl then we're gonna slip the next stitch purlwise with the yarn, the working yarn on the back. Purl the next stitch, so we bring the yarn to the front and purl. Slip the next stitch purlwise with the working yarn on the back. Okay, repeat. We purl the next stitch, slip the next stitch purlwise with the working yarn on the back. Purl the next stitch, slip the next stitch purlwise with the working yarn on the back. Just keep repeating this around. Just 
with the last stitch here, pearlwise. Okay, this is the end of round four. For round five, we transfer the marker to the right needle. Then we're gonna use color A. So we drop color B. Then I bring my color A up here. Round five, we're gonna knit every stitches around with color A. This is the end of round five. For round six, we transfer the marker to the right needle. Then we're gonna purl every stitches around with color A. Bring the yarn to the front and purl. This is the last stitch. Here is the end of round six. For round seven, we transfer the marker to the right needle. Then we're gonna use color B. So we drop color A. We bring the color B up. Then we're gonna slip the first stitch pearwise with the working yarn on the back. Flip. Then we're going to knit the next stitch. And we're going to repeat this around. Slip the next stitch purwise with the working yarn on the back. Then knit the next stitch. Repeat. Slip the next stitch purwise with the working yarn on the back. Then knit the next stitch. Repeat, slip the next stitch purwise with working yarn on the back, then knit the next stitch. Repeat, slip next stitch purwise with the working yarn on the back, then knit the next stitch. Okay, so we slip, then we knit, slip, then we knit, slip, then we knit. Repeat this around. We knit the last stitch here. Okay, this is the end of round seven. For round eight, we transfer the marker to the right needle. Then we can uh, slip the first stitch. We're still using color B for round eight. So slip the first stitch purlwise with the working yarn on the back. Then purl the next stitch. We bring the yarn to the front. Then we purl the next stitch. Repeat this around. Slip the next stitch purlwise with the working yarn on the back and then purl the next stitch. So we bring the yarn to the front and then purl. Slip the next stitch purlwise with the working yarn on the back. Purl the next stitch. Okay, so we slip here purlwise, then we purl the next stitch. Slip the next stitch purlwise and then purl the next stitch. Keep repeating this around. We purl the last stitch here. This is what it looks like at the end of round eight. This pattern is eight rounds repeat, which is round one to round eight. So I'm gonna repeat round one to round eight 11 more times, and I will have a total of 96 rounds. Start count from round one. If you want shorter count, make less repeat. 
if you want a taller cow, make more repeat. Just repeat round one to round eight, okay? So for round nine, I can start repeating round one. We just knit every stitches around with color A, okay? I'm not gonna show you again because I don't want to make this video too long. I will put the timestamp in each round below. I'm gonna show you a little bit on round nine. We transfer the marker to the right needle. We're gonna use color A. So we drop color B, bring color A up. Then we're gonna repeat round one. We we'll just knit every stitches around. Super easy. Yeah, round nine, repeat round one, we just knit every stitches around. And for round 10, repeat round two, we just purl every stitches around with color A. Like I said, I will put the timestamp in each round in the description below. Please check that out. And also you can check out the written pattern on our blog, link below as well. Good luck and take your time. Okay, now I'm at the end of round 96. Next, for round 97, I'm gonna use color A. I'm gonna knit all the stitches around. And I'm not gonna use the color B anymore, so I'm gonna cut the color B. Leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end later. I'm gonna transfer this marker to the right needle, then I'm gonna knit every stitches with color A. Okay, this is the end of round 97. And for round 98, we're gonna purl every stitches around. Okay, this is the end of round 98. Then next, we're gonna buy off. I'm gonna knit the first stitch, knit the second stitch. Then I'm gonna pass the first stitch that I knit over the outside stitch here. Then I'm gonna repeat around. Knit the next stitch, pass the inside stitch over the outside stitch, knit the next stitch, Pass the inside stitch up and over the outside stitch. Just regular by off. Knit and then pass over the outside stitch. Okay. Keep repeating this around. Here's what it's look like so far. This is the last stitch. Oops. Okay, then I'm gonna cut the yarn. Leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end. Pull the yarn out. Then I'm gonna weave the end. I got my yarn needle. I insert the tail into my yarn needle. Then I'm gonna insert my needle into the second stitch here. Right by the V shape. Pull through. 
and then come back to the last stitch where the tail come from here insert into the middle part right here and then bring it in inside the cowl like that just create a new stitch there beautiful then I'm gonna weave the end inside and I will do that later and here's what it looks like yeah you just need to weave all the ends and you are done I really love these two colors together I hope you enjoy watching this video if you make this cow I hope you enjoy making it thank you so much for watching I will see you next video bye bye